Well, listen, I know Charlotte is about to leave. I know the relationship that you have with her is just, um, I mean, you want to talk about a girl dad. I mean, David <laughs> is, I mean, oh, my God. David is just a dad. And I know, I know that the, the emotions I went through back in 2016 when Annie went to USCB yeah. and uh, with Charlotte taking off, I, yeah, talk about how you're feeling. I mean, it's just a, just a, a full spectrum of emotions, I would imagine. And how are you dealing with them? Oh, Charlie. Well, I, being a being a, a girl dad yourself, it, I know, I know you know it is. It's not an easy thing. You. Um, you know, I, I, I tend to reflect back on every single memory I have from the time she was born and all the way up to the other night when I took her and, um, and my son to a concert and just, you know, you remember every little, little thing and, uh, and, and you, you know, you, you hear from people when you have a child, Hey, you know, time goes by so quick. You, you really got to soak it up, but you never really fully understand that until, it comes that time when they do spread their wings and and take off and so it, it's um it's been a whirlwind of emotions um i'm just so thankful that i've had the time with her I, I, that i've had and uh but it's 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 tough i mean gosh i i, I don't want her to leave at the same time i do want her to leave because i'm so excited yeah. for her. she's got a great future yeah. ahead of her and she's gonna do great but it's it's really hard charlie <laughs> yeah yeah that's a, i mean and it's, it's like i i I, I, you know, people ask me sometimes, David, well, boy, what do you do? And I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You just have to, um, because like you said, you're, you're proud, but you're just incredibly sad. Yeah. Um, and you're a little bit mad at your, or I was a little bit mad at myself for not soaking up like you were just talking about all the things that we had a chance to do when she yeah. was at home. It, it's but, true. Uh, it's true. You, it, like, I, you know, it's it's one of those things. Like, I realize, and I, and I know you did, did too, because I, I watched I watched you as a father, um, and I know you spent tons of time w with your daughter, and I've spent tons of time with, with mine and my son as well. But it's never enough. And then you always look yeah. back. Gosh, I, I wish I'd have taken five more minutes here, or there. And, and the reality of it is, we're we're all human. And we have yeah. jobs, and we got to feed the family, and, and we've yeah. got work. And so, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. So that's why you just got to do your best, but em embrace every moment, be as present as possible. And that's what I've tried to do. And I'm just, I'm just so thankful for for what for what I what I've had with her. But oh gosh, I mean, you know, it's nine days now till she leaves, and yeah. just thinking about that moment where where we finally walk away and going, oh my gosh, I I know I'll be a complete mess <laughs> yeah you, you know I, I i honestly you know i was fine because i kind of i kind of built myself up for the moment and i was fine until we you know she was unloading all her stuff at the dormitory and and andrea was helping her and i said okay i'll go park and i had to go a pretty good ways away to park and yeah. as i'm walking across the campus uh just this 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 big wave of, of pride just came over me yeah and that's when i that's when i finally i'm, I'm walking around it looked like a blabbering pool walking across <laughs> campus at USDB. <laughs> you know, and, and that's when i lost it you know yeah. i lose it when we were driving away or you know all all the other moments but you know when i realized man look at what this kid's done yeah and, and that and that that's the thing you're, you're so proud of them and 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 you just you're so excited for their future, but you know, I mean, letting go of those little fingers, you know, for the last time, you know, um, cause you know, I, when you look at your kids' hands, I always still see them as these tiny little hands when they're babies, you know, and, and you just, it's, I try to explain it to them. It's like when you're a parent, you, no matter how much your kid grows, you still see those little eyes that looked at you for yeah. the first time. Uh, and, and yeah. you, that never leaves. That never leaves. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it never leaves. I will tell you this, David, um, and I never thought, I said, okay, she's going to grow up, and you just think, okay, she's going to meet somebody, and they're going to move to California, and I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to be left in the dust, and, yep. you know, I'll get, a, I'll get a Father's Day card and a phone call on Christmas Day, you know. <laughs> 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 you know? I know. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, the relationship just keeps getting, and I, it, it shocked me how much better 
our relationship has gotten every year. I mean, it's like, okay, she's she's 18, she's going off to college, but now she's, or in Annie's case, she's 26. <sighs> our relationship just keeps getting stronger and better. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. And I love hearing that. I need I need to hear those kind of things right now. <laughs> yeah, that that makes my day, Charlie. Listen, I knew I knew you and I would have just an incredibly cool talk and yes, sir. and I know there's uh, I'll never forget the time I got a call one morning and um, and this lady said she I could tell, you know, of course I was still alive and she said she said, Charlie, I'm not doing so well. And, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh my gosh, okay, something, she's sick, her father just died or, you know, yeah. something. So I'm bracing myself and I'm, of course, checking, okay, how much time I got? And before, you know, I got to do something and, uh, and I didn't even know her, you know, and she just said, mm -hmm. I'm not doing so good. And I said, what happened? She said, I just dropped my daughter off. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, I think she was in Spartanburg or something. Wow. And she said, you know, I didn't know. She was a single mom. She said, yeah. I didn't know anybody else to call. But she said, I, and this is why I love being on the radio, David. Yes, she said to me, I just, just remembered this. She said to me, she said, I knew you would listen. That's, and I said, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's very and special. She, she just she just broke down and just said, I just dropped her off and, you know, for college. So oh. I say that to say... People are going to hear you that are dropping your their kids off at college, or even going taking them to the first grade, or yep. you know the last day of high school, the yep. last first day of high school. You, you got know? It. And uh, I know you're going to help them. I just know you're going to help them. Well, Charlie, it, it, it I, I just I'm such a privilege and honor to talk to you, and we've been friends for so long, and that that means a lot coming from such an amazing dad as yourself, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, golly, as you know, I mean, for all those out there that are dropping their kids off or whatever day it may be, you know, give them a hug that'll last a lifetime. Yeah. David, the, another thing that I, I have learned in my in my older years is not to be afraid to say I love you to somebody who you love. Amen Amy to that, Chris, Charlie. I love you. I, you're I, the best. <laughs> I love you too, brother. You, 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 you're, you're one of a kind, and, and you're so true uh, when you say that. Uh, a, a, another dear friend of mine, uh, uh, Gary Scott, we, we had that same conversation. Never be afraid to say I love you because you yeah. never know when yeah. it'll be your last time. Yeah. I, uh, my, my partner in Tulsa and in Minneapolis, um, uh, uh, just, I mean, and best friend, you know, yeah. for a uh, good Lord. 15 years, you know, and, yeah. and we'd still be best friends, but he died of melanoma. Oh, God. And uh, I, I, I'll never forget, I was in Dallas. I'd moved to Dallas, and he was still in Minneapolis. And and I was just riding along, and I, I remember um, I remember getting the feeling, because, you know, I didn't say I love you. This was back, I don't know, 2000, 2000. You know, I was in Dallas 15 years, one of those years before yeah. he died. Yeah. And I just told him, I said, Mark, you don't care. Is this... I, you know, you and I have known each other a long time, but I need to tell you I love you. I don't know why. Yeah. And ever since then, you know, I've, I've just said, okay, if you love somebody, tell them. You, you know, I you, mean, you, sure. You, you have know? to. You have to do that because I, you know, I. It, it's it, it's. Charlie, just a few weeks ago, I don't know if you saw, you know, um, Joe Bonsall from the Oak Ridge Boys passed away, and he. Yes. He was, he was like a second dad to me, and he was he's like yeah. a member of the family to my whole family. And he called me up on Father's Day, and I, I knew I knew something inside told me that was probably gonna be the last time I talked to him. And he made sure to tell me that, and he, among other things, but uh, told me he loved me, and he, he told me before, but he really emphasized um, that. And uh, I'm so glad that, that you know he called, and we got to have that conversation because that. Those words will never leave your heart or your mind, and yeah. and so yeah. it's so important to do that. People have got to do that more and more. Uh, it makes and, such a difference. And you and you know because I know you're a service guy, uh, yeah. and what I mean by that, I mean you 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 want to help people. Uh, yes, sir. And um, that comes back to offer you opportunities later. It was two weeks ago that. Um, Got a call. I was in Sarasota coaching softball. I go down there every every summer for a month and coach was Florida Gulf Coast League, and you know from Carolina softball connections. And um, I was down there and we were 
we were headed to the championship game the next day, and so everybody was out having pizza and whatever. Yeah. And I get a text from my friend in Dallas, yeah. and he says, "Are you are you are you somewhere where you're sitting down that you could handle some shocking news?" Yeah. And I, you know, he he and I've always been jacking with each other. He's a Cowboys fan, and I hate the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Is this something where you're going to say Ben Roethlisberger is coming out of retirement to play for the Cowboys?" <laughs> He said, no, it's not. He said, I need to talk to you. Oh, my gosh, David. And I hesitate to tell you this, but I know you're, you're faithful enough to not yeah. worry about it. But his 26-year-old daughter um, just fell asleep and didn't wake up. And he, I have not talked to him, David. And Now, we were pretty close. We coached together when the girls were kids. And, and you know, we, 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 we had a really good uh, relationship and even after I left Dallas you know we'd keep in touch and um, but he couldn't talk he I mean can you imagine I mean I can't yeah. and uh, he said Amanda uh, Amanda didn't wake up this morning and yeah. and uh, I was able of course I went to Dallas um, yeah. a couple of weeks ago of course you went to Dallas but um, to be there so sorry. and when I saw him when I saw him, I mean, he's a giant. I mean, he's 6'3", you know, overweight, you know, big, yeah. big guy. And I saw him, and I went up to him, and I and I, I hugged him, and I bet you it was two minutes, and it, it was uncomfortable, mm -hmm. you know. So it wasn't uncomfortable, but I'm sure people looked at us and said, boy, he sure is hugging him a long time. Yeah. But it gave me an opportunity, and I don't think I would have had that opportunity had I not said, Terry, you know, years and years ago, you're, you're one of the people I love. I love you. Yeah. So, and I don't think you would have called me, and, uh, because we hadn't seen each other in, my goodness, since, uh, well, since you and I met, you know, the, you and I met when I pretty much came to Carolina. So Amazing. So that's when I left Dallas and came to Carolina, and... Uh, but it's offer, it gives you opportunities to yeah. be of service later you know, yep. to people who know, okay, that guy loves me. Yep. It makes and, a huge difference, yeah. Charlie, because you, you never know that, that hug or that I love you and what that's going to do for somebody in a moment. And so yeah. it's so important to let people know how you feel. You, yeah. It's just so important. See, You're a good man. See, I, I, listen, I, I, I could just go on talking with you. <laughs> You're one of those people I could call every week and have this conversation. Hey, right? man, so, same, same goes here with you. <laughs> All right. DB, have a great day. Thank you so much, my friend. You bet. God bless you, man. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.